I was asked by Interopera to transcribe several pieces for a, an opera gala evening to take part in this year's festival. It's a really exciting project from my point of view and it's combining two of my great passions. One is brass bands and, and the other is the world of opera. My part is to get the transcriptions done as quickly and efficiently as possible and get them onto the Riverside Band who only have a few weeks to practice them and get ready for what's I'm sure going to be two fantastic concerts. One, two, three and... <laughs> The aria is going to be sung by a soprano, but uh, for rehearsal purposes, I've actually written the uh, vocal line out for a soprano cornet. Every moment in every score has had to be treated individually. What I'm trying to do is make the band take on as many different textures and colours as, as possible to, to replicate the, the fantastic world of the orchestra. The original composer in this instance on the Queen of the Nights aria, it's Mozart. He was working with an orchestra with using violins um, and uh, woodwind instruments um, as well as the brass. Um, whereas here the only instruments I've got to work with are the brass instruments. So I've got to try and use the colours of the band to give a wonderful uh, accompaniment for the uh, for the soloist. So it's quite a challenge and of course the violins can do some fairly tricky things which are more of a challenge on brass but uh, we've got a fantastic band and the agreed plan when we set out here was that we'd remain as faithful as possible to the score. <laughs> against a fairly tight deadline but I'm sure when we hear the end product in the two performances at uh, Concert Empire and then the Bose Museum it's going to be an absolutely fantastic sound.